I got a family out there that still cares about me. I got a son out there that you may not know what's going on right now. And yeah, I know I will in the future. I, I write, even though he's a kid right now, I write to him. I write him letters. And his grandmother hangs on to him for me. She hasn't been to Boulder. She's going to uh, give him to him when he gets older. If, if you had it to do over again, what would you do? I wouldn't even go back with it. I wouldn't stay away from her. I wouldn't go and I just wouldn't stay at my dad's house. I wouldn't even go, wouldn't even go back with it. Do you mind if I ask you about your case? Nah, I don't want to talk about that. That kind of, kind of got me thinking about the girl I've actually been in love with for, 10, for about 10 to 11 years. She's been loving me ever since then too. We, since we first started dating, we, um, her name is Ashley Towers. I believe she still lives in jail with her mom. As I sit here thinking of the fun years, I can feel it trickling down my face and my vision blurry because of my tears. As I sit here on my bed, this is a thought that is now in my head. I miss living or seeing the love of my life. I was also hoping for someday to, be ah, yeah, to become my future wife. I miss looking into her hazel eyes, even though she may know that these, mem these memories may bring, uh, may make me cry. The night that I asked her to become my spouse, we had our life planned out to have kids and live in the house. From there on, I thought we were going to be forever together. But a few weeks passed, then the next thing we knew, our future flew away as fast as a tail feather. After we went our separate ways, I found myself living in the cold-hearted days. I remember a movie that we watched together called Eddie and the Cruisers, and now remembering a song called Tender Years, bringing my heart cruises. Now as I sit in my cell on the cold bed, these memories plus more will never leave my head. She will never leave my mind. And I hope in the future, her I will once again find. Then our love will be once again forever bond. She told me that she was going to stick by my side. Now my heart feels pain because now it seems to me that she ran and wants to hide. I wish that she would do what she said, and now I wish for her to put me in her head, even just slowly before she went to bed. Our son was from Lone Star called Amazed, and now I wish that in her eyes that I could just always gaze, as the minutes turn to hours while they pass by days. As the days go by, I'll always remember the memories of her and I. Is there anything that you'd want to say to uh, Penny Sheldon or um, anybody else who is a family member of the victims? I'm really sorry that happened and I didn't... I shouldn't have taken part in it.